You think that's bad? A nine-year-old girl, nine years old. Hmm. Little hater. She's a little miscreant. She's a criminal. We're going to allow rapists, murderers, violent offenders, 36,000 of them out of jail, free to roam about the United States as they want, free to vote for as many Democrats for as many times as they want. These people get free while a nine-year-old girl gets handcuffed, photographed, fingerprinted. Yeah, photographed, fingerprinted, got in a boys and girls club fight next to the goddamn monkey bars. Well, the whole story is she's at this, and this is Portland, Oregon, and I do know Portland, Oregon. I grew up in Vancouver, Washington, which is right across the goddamn Columbia River. Uh, Portland's always been wacko. The whole state of Oregon is wacko. Beautiful country there, though. Gorgeous coast. Some of the most beautiful coasts you've ever seen in your life. Sea lion caves. you got Crater Lake. Been all over there. Skeet on Mount Hood, Mount Bachelor, the whole smash. But the people are just idiots. But she gets in this little little tough there was a, there was two girls that were fighting so she goes over there to break it up ends up getting in a little uh a slapping pissing contest with another girl well you know the the, the boys and girls club said okay fine and and suspended them for a week it should have been over after that right you think so no no the officers came to her home the nine-year-old girl was still wet from running through the neighborhood sprinkler. The officers took her away, wearing handcuffs. They photographed her, fingerprinted her, and detained her for over an hour before her mother finally arrived. Her crime... Getting in a fight with another kid, a fight that took place nearly a week beforehand and ended with apologies on all sides. The girls seemed to, well, take care of the problem on their own. Remember in school there was always a fight. Sometimes there'd be girls fighting, sometimes there'd be boys fighting. But kids are going to fight. They get in trouble for it. Uh, they get their little suspension, they learn their little lesson, and everybody goes about their merry way. Nobody's emotionally harmed or scarred. The problem is solved. The kids do learn. It's part of growing up. Why kids fight? Well, that's, you know, that's the human. Nobody nobody invented the human being. Nobody ever. Not one human being invented another human being. So we do not know why we do what we do. But we have to learn when we screw up. And we do. They're never going to learn. This is not going to teach a kid, a nine-year-old kid. That's too excessive. That's ridiculous. Again, I know common sense. Well, according to the Oregonian, which is their newspaper, which is... It, it's, 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 it's a garbage newspaper. Again, it's one of those newspapers that's about, you know, a step or two above the onion. The Oregonian newspaper all started with a scuffle on a basketball court at the Boys and Girls Club on North Trenton Street. I know where that's at. In Portland's new Columbian neighborhood. Witnesses told the police the nine-year-old girl got in the middle of a dispute between two other girls who had been arguing because one tattled on the other for drawing on a desk. Well, there's also another lesson in here. Little tattletale, be careful with that tattletale. This is the kind of society that they like now. They want this. They want you reporting on your neighbor. 
He didn't vote for Democrats. He criticizes the king in the privacy of his own home. You must check him out. He's anti-government. He's an anarchist. I'm in fear of my life. That's what they want. They want citizens turning on citizens. Remember that, Mr. Bill O'Reilly? That's what the Nazis did. You still think Nazism isn't alive and well? Will never come into the United States? Huh? It's here, Mr. O'Reilly. They're not wearing brown shirts or lightning bolts on their collars, but Nazism is most definitely here in the United States. Well, as far as I'm concerned, that little tattletale should have got her butt kicked. So good for the other girl for, 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 for fighting for her. I'm sorry, I support that. Kids are going to learn. So what? They're going to fight. What, can they, what kind of damage can they do? I'm sorry, but kids can fight. They're not going to do that much damage. Plus, they learn a lesson. This is what happens. This is all part of growing up. Sometimes you got to get smacked around a little bit to learn. It's okay. That's how you mature. That's how you grow up. Sometimes you got to learn a lesson the hard way. And it's okay. And no harm was really done. None of the girls got seriously injured. They all walked away thinking that they all learned a valuable freaking lesson. But no, they didn't. It wasn't enough. We needed more. This nine-year-old girl is a threat to society. We must remove her. After receiving a call from the mother of the other girl involved in the fight, police arrived... So the other mother is now a tattletale. Maybe the mother could have learned a lesson out of this. I doubt it. But the police arrive at the nine-year-old girl's home to investigate. They got to investigate it. Nine-year-old girls pissing on each other. They got to bring cops to investigate the situation. What are you freaking kidding me? They found the nine-year-old girl's statements inconsistent with witnesses. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe witnesses could have been inconsistent. You're going to take the witnesses' report rather than the girl who was actually in the goddamn fight. What are you kidding me? What are you kidding me? Accusing her of fourth degree assault assault she's nine freaking years old fighting with another nine year old assault you're an idiot it's not the police force it's the police force no excuse that cop should I'm not going to go show up to a nine year old girl's home and investigate a goddamn pissing contest between a couple of nine year olds cop should have lost his job for that one right there. Police chief should have said, hey, Officer Obi, get in here. You're friggin' fired. Give me your badge. Give me your gun. Don't ever show up in here again or I'm going to arrest you. Did we get that? No. This son of a bitch probably got a goddamn promotion. Probably got a medal of honor. Does that make you feel like a real man now, cop? You took a nine-year-old girl out of society because you found her statements inconsistent with witnesses who probably showed up to the fight late and didn't even see it all? My God Almighty! Don't they have a district attorney in there? Maybe the district attorney could bring these cops on, on, on charges. To bring the goddamn police chief on charges for not firing these assholes. God damn it. But just got to accept it, 21st century. We don't like it, but we just got to accept it. It's a 21st century, man. It is what it is. Well, no, it isn't is what it is, Mr. McCain. This is unacceptable. 
fingerprinted, photographed. She get a full body cavity search too? Huh? Jesus Christ, fourth degree assault, class A misdemeanor. This is ridiculous. No excuse for that. No excuse for that at all, cop. You shouldn't have even shown up to her house. Jesus Christ, when are we going to get some common frickin' sense in our in our country again? I'm sorry, cops, but I can't support this crap. You people keep turning me away. You keep pushing me away. I would love to have faith and trust in the police departments. I really would. I'd love to have that trust again. But you give me no reason to, 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 to have any faith in you or to give you my trust. I can't. There's too many of these cases. Okay, fine. If they were once in a blue friggin' moon, all right, we can understand that. But this is all the goddamn time, and I'm sick of it. Every goddamn day. Nine years old. You can't make a, a freaking gun out of your little fingers. Think like you're doing a bow and arrow. You got to get cops to come in and arrest you. Ten years old. What the hell? Kid burps in class. They need four cops to come arrest this kid. Teacher, you can't handle the problem on your own? Look, teacher, I'm sorry. You can't handle a kid for acting up in class, which they're going to do, by the way. That's why they're kids. If you can't handle that, teacher, you shouldn't be in the frickin' classroom. But they don't want that. They want the kids to sit there and just just absorb everything that they tell them. Well, they're not a computer. You can't program them, okay? You can't sit them down and just program them. You're going to have to teach them. So if one of the kids screws up in class, that's a moment for you to teach. Not only that kid, but the entire class. Because maybe there's a kid who's going to repeat that same thing. If you don't. But they don't want to teach. They just want to spoon feed and program their students. That's called indoctrination. That's what they want to do. They want to indoctrinate you. They don't want to teach you. And so if you are, while resisting their indoctrination, then you must be punished. You are a threat to society, we'll call in the police. If you've got to call in the police for a kid burping in class or making a a goddamn gun out of his hand, you have no business being in the classroom. You have no business being on school grounds, any school grounds. Period. That's just goddamn ridiculous. 